Hello friends. Hi, how are we today? I hope we are all doing well. I am doing fantastic. It, this is a memory plan with me for the week of May 30th through June the 5th. So last week, and I am a little bit behind, but <laughs> it's so silly guys. I, um, I was going to film and I was going to do my day by day because I was actually very good. I got this done on uh, like June 1st. So I had laid down the base on June 1st because I wanted to get everything ready and scheduled. And then when I was doing on Sunday night, uh, and it is currently Tuesday the 7th, um, on Sunday night, I was like going and laying down my memory plan with me and I was like doing it like it was good. It was good. It was fantastic. Anyway, the point is I had forgotten to pull the stickers for Saturday, Sunday and pulling stickers actually takes me a while. Um, you'll notice that the more tired I get, the more similar the stickers I use because I usually have those options available to me. So um, it was a wild week. I was expecting it to be very quiet because I have, um, I have a friend coming into town this week, which I'm so excited about. It's my friend Carly. You guys have known. She's my bestie from the West. Um, I like, I can't believe that she's finally here. It's been such a long time. Um, and if you see what I'm doing here, I'm just deliberating whether or not I should use my old date dots, um, which I ended up not using. I ended up using the new ones that match the kit. And then I saved the rest of them just because I didn't have like the week from the 31st to the 5th consecutively without like having to like do a variety of different ones. I was going to see if I had any silver ones left over, but I also don't have those consecutively. So <clears throat> um, this is a Paisley Prince Co. kit. If you didn't see from the intro, I'm very excited. It's a gorgeous kit, but I had mixed up my headers on the first page. Um, and you will see that as I lay down the stickers, but essentially what had happened was I for some reason lay down my header on either side of the full box so I never actually had headers on the top of the week um on this side but I did on the other side so actually tell me what you prefer more because I think it's a very interesting look but it doesn't like I, I don't know you just tell me what you prefer down in the comments down below I would really appreciate it I'm I'm torn whether or not I like it but I don't know, for this spread, it kind of works. Uh, obviously, I will link Paisley Prints Co. and the kit that this is in the description box down below, as I do every week <clears throat> that I film. And I am so sorry for clearing my throat. It is extraordinarily wet and rainy here. It's in the 50s, um, like 7, I guess it's maybe in the 60s. I'm not sure how the Fahrenheit conversion works, to be perfectly honest. I don't check. I just try and make sure that I'm inclusive here. Um, I think there's two countries in the world that use uh, imperial metric, whatever, whatever the rest of the world doesn't use, the U.S. uses in one other country. I think Turkmenistan or something. It's weird. So I just had to take a sip of water. You'll see here that my light went out. This whole base lay down. One of the reasons it spread out is because it was a disaster. Um, you can't see, but I had to constantly stop and start the camera. I had to actually like... Uh, so it was wild. It was absolutely wild. So I I don't even want to tell you all the stories because that's in my day by day, which I am super excited to tell you guys about because it was a wild day by day as well. I think we're coming up to it now, actually. Oh no, did we do the sidebar? Yes. So one of my problems that I've been having recently is the Sadie sticker, um, planner is fantastic it's absolutely wonderful but for some reason there's just so much more um like room in my sidebar I don't know guys so I've just been struggling a little bit with it and you'll see that I laid down a an appointment label instead of a date cover or not a date cover a habit tracker tracker and uh, that was because I thought I was going to have an appointment that I had missed a couple weeks ago because of a gigantic storm. And I didn't end up having that just because you'll see what happens later on in the week. It was just, uh, it was a chaotic week. So I was trying to figure out what to do. 
And then I realized that Paisley Prince Co. has deco stickers. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to layer the deco stickers. Did not realize while I was doing the layering that it was virtually the box that I laid down on Tuesday. I thought I was being so innovative. I was not. <laughs> so <laughs> I really wanted to fit that bird feeder in. I love birds. I don't know if you guys know that I'm a bit of a crazy bird lady. I love my birds. So I just put it down on the bottom washi and then I was like, okay, well, the other side needs it too. So I went ahead and I did the other side. I thought it looked good. So then we get into our day by day and as I, I pulled the stickers and I thought it didn't look like enough stickers and I'm like, maybe I'm just talented. Maybe I'm just fantastic like that. Um, no, that was not the case, folks. <laughs> I just didn't pull enough stickers. Um, so I was deciding what to do here. I don't know what I was deciding, but I'll tell you about the stickers. So on Monday, I was going into the office. There was a there was the directors there. It was a big day. It was a good day to come into the office voluntarily. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're back in the office permanently or if you're in a hybrid model or how that's working. You're working from home permanently. It'd be really cool to find out what everyone else is doing. Uh, so I used my Olivia sticker and then this custom script from Sweet Tea Sticker Co., all the scripts that you will see um, in this spread are from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. except for the foiled stuff. She does not do foiling, which is very hard. Then uh, you guys know I don't typically support uh, Starbucks anymore. However, a coworker got me Starbucks and I was like, well, that's I'm not going to turn down something that someone else has done for me. So thank you so much. So I did that, uh, and then I got Happy Mail. Um, I had bought something in the buy, sell, trade. I actually bought the Spring Goddess box from Simply Gilded, and I'm really, really excited about it. I think it turned out really, really well, and I can't wait to do it in my most recent haul. That should be coming up in a couple of days. I just had an order ship, and I'm just debating whether or not I should be um, shipping the order. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out how that's working because I, anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Does not matter. So I then used a really silly small uh, Coffee Monsters Co. I don't know why I didn't use a larger sticker, just to note that I had a lot of snuggles with my kiddo that day. It was a good day. And then that evening, I also used a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji to mark that I started re-watching RuPaul's Drag Race UK season one. I decided to watch from the beginning because I couldn't really remember the Vivian in the current All-Star season. Next up, I used a big emoji, which was probably an issue and one of the reasons I ran into so much space spacing issues on Tuesday to mark that I watered the back plants, but then also watered the back lawn. It, it wasn't a drought, but it was very dry for quite some time. Um, then I noted that my husband took me on a date to the garden center. It was a lovely date. It was so wonderful. Um, and I just used a Maru, an old Maru before uh, paper and milk reformatted. Um, and this is the yay Maru to note that I voted. Typically I won't put like two boxes, but one beside each other, but this is like chronic chronologically how our day went and like I wanted to note that I voted um the election was actually June the 2nd but we had pre-voting open to us so we went and voted that day and it was great because there was no lineup at all we got in immediately and then we're able to cast our ballots so as you can see here I'm just repositioning the stickers um just because they were obviously nothing was going to fit I don't know how my days, when I have nothing going on, my days fill up with the mundane, but still I managed to fill my days. And then I used a Planet with Stickers couple. She has all these cute couples. So this is the cookies and milk couple. I think it's really cute. Then I noted my custom from Teddy Plans Co. to mark that we had family time. And you will see that I cut the family time script from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. just so I could make it like two layers and it would just fit and look more aesthetically pleasing on the line. These are just little embroidery scissors. I have absolutely no clue where I got them. It was before I even started planning and I started planning in 2016. So that was exciting. Um, then... After that, I noted that my husband and I started Stranger Things because the new season had come out. My husband and I don't watch very many shows together, but like it was very exciting that we had Obi-Wan and Stranger Things and I, oh, and Shorzy come out a couple weeks ago. Um, these are some icons from a shop I no longer support. However, 
it doesn't matter. I've, I've got to get through them. I spent all the money on them, so I will be using them. Um, and I just noted that I edited and uploaded that night the birthday week plan with me. Then in another icon from Sweet Tea Sticker Co., uh, my Old Navy order arrived. Oh, guys, this is such a story. I'm so mad about it. So I placed the order on May the 12th, and I had the ru- the option for, like, rush shipping. I was like, eh, no rush. No no need to rush at all. And they, I didn't realize they don't pack your order when you originally order it. It's, like, the day before they ship. So my maternity dresses that I ordered didn't come because they ran out of stock and like I got the refund and I got a discount for the next purchase but like that's kind of stupid like I paid for it packed the stupid I don't know it just made me so mad anyway then I used another order from uh, another icon from Sweet Tea Sticker Co to mark that I filmed this base um after that I noted the emojis from Coffee Monsters Co just together my husband and I watched uh Obi-Wan And I tried to do some fancy lettering and I did not do well with that. Then I noted that my kiddo and I had a long time reading together, which was really nice. It was a a good time. Uh, I noted that my husband and I watched Stranger Things and we binged it. And I was, you know, trying to take up space here because it wasn't a very busy day. So I used one of these square boxes. Again, I find them quite good for taking up space. And I used this floral one. I thought it would look nice. And then on... Uh, Just to take up space on the rest of the day, not even taking up space, but I did do this. Wednesdays are my budget day, so I just completed my budget, which is really nice. On Thursdays, I get paid, but whatever. I mean, it's it's not that big of a deal. Um, And so then I decided to fill in this side of the spread before I moved on to the next side of the week. And then I just noted here that I used a With Hub script from Murdoch Talks because I also decided to use those up as well. I'm trying to go through the stickers that I have before I buy many new ones, which is, which has been working great for me. Then on Thursday, uh, I noted that I had daycare drop off. I haven't done it in a while. My kiddo was sent home last, the week before from daycare because he partied too hard and had a fever. He was totally fine, but the rules are he, he can't come back for 48 hours. So, um, when he did come back, my husband was sick, so he took him the week before. So it's been a while since I've done daycare drop off. So I just wanted to note that. Then um, our office had a gigantic meeting, um, and it turns out some really good changes are happening, ones that we've been wanting to do for a while. So I used a fox and cactus girl to mark that. And then uh, I used a happy honeybee letter and I don't know if she's still selling these in her shop so I will I don't even know if her shop's open obviously if it's open I will link it in the description down below then I used my custom um kiddo icon from Teddy Plans to mark that my kiddo came down with a very high fever and then that night I used more emojis to mark the Stranger Thing finale I know the spacing looks weird but I wanted to do cool lettering Friday, I had gotten one hour of sleep the night before. It was awful, and I had a migraine, so I called in sick to work, which was good because my kiddo had a fever of 40 degrees Celsius, and I have never been more scared. Um, When he had been feeling a tiny bit better that day, we went on a couple of wagon walks, so he was just in the wagon with his water. I took him for the walk, um, but he he didn't do well with that, and uh, it it was six kilometers between the two walks, but I probably should have you know, made it a little bit shorter, but it was fine. He was happy when the walk started. It was just when we got more and more into the walk. Then I noted again, um, that I snuggled. I spent all day snuggling with my kiddo. And then that night I said, I don't know why I marked a YouTube binge. It was actually YouTube and RuPaul's Drag Race season, UK season one. And then I was like, what the heck? What happened? I forgot to do my stickers. So then I had to go pull my stickers and I ran out of time on the Monday. Oh, it's just a whole, it's a whole thing. So I decided, um, because it turns out my kid had a hand, foot, and mouth disease, I was going to mark the days that he has it. So here you'll note that I'm marking day three and day four over the weekend. Uh, it's the shittiest disease known to mankind. So I really, really hope none of your children get it. If you have children, I hope you don't get it. Just awful. Just absolutely awful. Um, then I noted that my kiddo and I had drawing time together, which was really, really, really nice. Um, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. And then, um, I noted that I had to make an e-transfer over to my friend from under the cherry tree. She was doing the Parkwood Estate Market. If you saw my Instagram this weekend, check it out. It's Canada Planner Girl. And 
that was fantastic. I, I was so excited for her. I couldn't go. Obviously, my kiddo was sick, but my other friend did go. So I just e-transferred her the money and picked up the items that I want. And I can show you guys if you would like. Just let me know down below. Then I used a happy honey bee squishy to note that I <laughs> had to fold my laundry, which I can't stand doing. Then I used my kiddo, the custom kiddo, just to note that he didn't nap. Like he was not having a nap in any capacity. That was a rough, it was rough. Um, and then we went on another wagon walk. He was much happier. His fever was starting to lift. So thank goodness. And we just did two and a half kilometers. Maybe the shorter amount of time helped as well. Um, and I was trying to figure out how to position the shoe. I don't know why I have it like facing down, but then I was like, oh, I can just do it flat and that marks a walk. So perfect. And then finally on Friday, I noted with a fox and cactus girl that I went to bed at 745 and slept for nearly 10 hours and it was glorious. Then obviously I had marked hand, foot and mouth day four, just I cannot express to you the awfulness of this disease. Then I noted with an icon from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Oh, I never, I didn't think I was going to get ahead here. But I noted with an uh, icon from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. that I called my mom. She's a doctor. And I was like, hey, I need some help with my kid. Here I'm using a Coffee Monsters Co. A Modi in a onesie. It was just from a sampler a few months, a few years ago, actually. I'm trying to use it up, as I said, just to mention, or just to note that I did a Costco order. I don't order Costco online very frequently, so it was a big deal for me. Then I used another one on a yoga mat to mark that I got 10 minutes of yoga done before my kiddo freaked out, so that was good. Then I used a paper and milk Maru to note that I used a lot of Marus today. It was They were very accurate. But to note that I did a general tidy of the house and then I cleaned the bathroom. I should have put in a general tidy because I'm really mad at myself uh, for not because now it just looks like one. You'll see the wording. It just looks like tidy and clean the bathroom. I didn't have to tidy the bathroom. I just had to clean it. Uh, and then I just used this uh, doctor sticker from Paper and Milk to note that my mom made a house call. And then I noted I went to bed fairly early on the Sunday night. So this is what my spread looks like filled in. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do. And oh boy, I love it. So, you know, let me know what you're watching. Let me know what's happening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have your little ones ever been sick with hand, foot, and mouth? If you guys, like we're on day six now like any advice please let me know and I'm just going through the kit for what I had left over which is really not a dreadful amount I hope to see you in the next video I hope you have a wonderful